Something ain't right. All right, what's going on, guys? My name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. Today, got the SCX6 out here. These things are super fun to hit the trails with. And today, I plan on taking this where it doesn't really belong. We're gonna go try and play around on Mousetrap as well as a few other obstacles. It should put a real challenge up for this SCX6. Looking forward to getting it out on the trail. Let's go hit the rocks. So we're starting our trail where this truck does not belong. This is the bonus entrance into Mousetrap, not even the standard entrance, because there's a big ugly V crack in here that I tried it on this truck the other day, and I think it has a shot if you get it right. It's gonna take some driver skill though. We're gonna see if I can cash in on mine today. Oh, I'm gonna rip a mirror off, better move it. While I don't mind using the truck to its full abilities, I don't wanna just rip a mirror off for a little obstacle like that. I mean, this is not a cheap truck, so. But I do intend to use it. I wanna show you guys what these things can do because I've been very impressed when you start to push the capabilities on an SCX6, you might be surprised how far it will actually go. Here's the truck. That's where we're trying to go. This is not easy with a tent scale. It is not easy with rear steer. So putting a six scale in here is certainly not easy. I have not modified this truck in any way. This is exactly how it comes out of the box from Axial. I'm using a 3S shorty pack, high voltage from Tekken, because the ESC can handle 4S, but the motor is rated for three. So high voltage 3S certainly isn't gonna hurt anything. There she goes. She's doing all right. Get that rear axle, keep it level. trouble. And you get the left rear higher on the wall. The way these walls are shaped. Hey, I did it. Now it's steep. Oh dear. Oh dear. We're in real trouble now. That right rear just fell down in the crack instead of on the wall. Oh dear. Oh. Let's give this one more shot, guys. There's a lot of little creeks and valleys through here. They make it hard to drive. So I need to drive my front left high on the wall to get that rear axle right where I want it. I don't know if I fully expected to do it or not, but it's just fun to try. Yeah, it's just, it's a little too extreme for this truck, no doubt. This is freaking crazy for an SCX6, believe me. Level it out, that's it. No. Yep, we lost it. It's not going to do this, but it's pretty crazy looking. So here's a different perspective of where we're trying to go with this truck. Still just stuck down in that crack. But, super cool, no doubt. What'd you guys think? Pretty crazy for an SCX6. It gets pretty damn high. Pretty close to making it out. Let's see if we can force this thing up in a mousetrap. It gets tippy right here. Almost, just needs to stick up there and it'll be done. So close. Ah, 
needed to go up and then just hang on to that rock. Yeehaw. Ooh, never good. I don't know if I can drive this truck from this angle through this obstacle. This is a tough one. I did get it up through here the other day, but it took some work. So we're gonna see what happens here. This is like the key obstacle on Mousetrap. That's the line. There she comes. Yeah. That's what I like to see right there, guys. Course correction. Passenger back up. Now straight driver forward. Back into the passenger wall. Just to keep her balanced. We're gonna jump to the rear because I'm driving where I'm sitting. I am very impressed that this truck can get to this point in this obstacle. Now we can get all the way out of here if I drive it right. Once I exit this obstacle, it's a 90 degree left hand turn into another V notch balance point. Truthfully, I cannot get this truck through that corner because the front bumper hits the wall right there and it doesn't fit. So it's not that it can't do the obstacle out the next side, it's that it doesn't fit. Let's see if we, yeah, let's use the wall a little bit to our advantage. Just trying to dip that rear a little bit at a time. That's as much as we're gonna get. Try it one more time. Drive it forward and then rotate it. I can't even see what I'm doing. As you can see, this is a problem. I need more servo so that I can fight this harder. Ooh, that might be it. At the expense of the body, we've made the turn. Holy hell. I've never done that because I never pushed it that hard. It's probably the one and only time I'm going to do it for this video. We are balanced and looking real good on the next obstacle. <laughs> I didn't believe it was ever going to do that. You guys are going to have to use those affiliate links because uh, that was not a cheap shot right there, destroying this SCX6 Jeep body for you guys. Uh-oh. Falling off, falling off the wall. Whew. A little bit of tension. I think my servo is not liking its life right now. I will run that tree clean over if I have to with this truck. Well, that's an interesting predicament. 
<laughs> well, I made it all the way out and then a bush flipped me over. You guys have no mind track record with the bushes around here. I'm not happy about that. So SCX6 will have its revenge on that tree at some point. Cruising on up. And then we just got to shoot out the top of the hill. And we've done it. We've run Mousetrap with an SCX6. Freaking ridiculous. Let's see if we got the juice to get up here today. Woo hoo hoo! She might do it. Come on. I'm giving her the full beans there, man. A little more of a runway. Come on, Six. Get it. I know you can do it. It's like as close as you can get with not getting it. <laughs> oh, it was right there. It had it. That was it. That was it. Yes. She got it. Vertical climb out, man. SCX6 got it done. That is wild that that thing will do that. That's hilarious. Well, we are done and out of mousetrap. Here are a few more bonus lines in the area. Let's see if we can't force the SCX6 up through these. Yeah, I kind of figured it might do that. So I guess we can start getting on that wall way sooner. Ah, we lost it. One more try. Ooh, there she goes. I actually need that right rear to dip. Because the left rear is too far down now. That was what I needed right there. Holy crap, it did it. That's only one of three of my RCs that have ever gone up that. My G-Speed, my SCX6, and oddly enough, my TRX4 can do that. But my comp truck won't do it. <laughs> Sick. That was badass. That's a really tough one. You guys can't see my face right now, but I'm just grinning ear to ear. Because I think it's hilarious that how good this thing is. Because, like, it's not just like a gimmicky, like, oh, it's huge. It's like... It's huge and it performs. Probably gonna change angles a few times through this line, but this crack in front of the truck is not possible with my tent scales. I've tried with rear steer cars, I've tried with Capras, my comp rig, whatever. It gets too wide in the middle and they fall down into the crack and it traps the steering servo and it can destroy components and whatnot. So this obstacle has only ever been driven one time by this SCX6 and it can do it both ways which is pretty cool so the tent scales always try to go down because of how wide and steep the crack is halfway through and so we're going to start off here in the video driving this truck down it I'm going to give you guys a front view here in a second and this is the SCX6 crack Here she is. I've got to kind of level out that rear tire if possible. It should be all right. But this front passenger is going to drop down into this crack. This is where the tent scales fall in. It's on the slider. I need it to let go of the slider because it's pivoting the truck instead of letting it roll through. Okay. Need to bring it back. My servo is locked up. We're gonna lose it. Once it gets the weight of the truck on it when it's pointed downhill like that, 
the servo doesn't have the power to turn. And I'm sure after today's event, it is uh, not going to do any better than when it started. <laughs> so, all right, we corrected ourselves. Wasn't the cleanest, prettiest run, but one shot at it. Now we gotta get, I'm trying not to fall over myself here. Standing in V-notches is not easy. So I'm just getting that rear tire positioned where I need before I start my turn in the front. Perfect, perfect, exactly where I needed it. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? This is a big, ugly obstacle, and this big, badass truck gets it done. And that's the end of the crack. Let's go the other way through it. So there are two very difficult parts in this crack driving up. One of them is getting the rear tire to get up and balanced on the side that your camera can see. So we gotta get the fronts up, they're in position, they're where they need to be. It's getting the rear passenger tire to come up as well. So you start to dip the driver front, and that takes weight off the rear. You need to go till it comes up, but not let the driver come completely off. Holy cow, did I get it on my first try on that one? It might have done it. Let's get behind the truck so you can see how these tires are barely hanging on. Yeah, just the sidewall on the rear. Now, we need to transfer most of the tread back over to the left side. Because the driver front is gonna run into the wall and we need a lot of tire up on the wall so that it allows it to climb. Because it'll force that driver rear off if you don't get it right. So sick. This is the only vehicle that I have that can do this. And believe me, I've tried a lot with my other cars. Okay, our front's in trouble. I need to see what's going on. Oh, just a little reverse there. Let's get all the way in front so you can see. Go away. So that front tire is starting to dip down into that crack. We want it to climb up there. But I need to keep the driver high to get the rear to come up as well. There she comes. Rear end slid into position. Just let the rear push. Stands up. That's where we want the truck. Servo's not having it. Just chase the crack and out the top she comes. Both ways, one shot at it each way. This truck is awesome. It's expensive, but you get performance with this thing, no doubt. Gnarly, super badass. And it kinda does it, as long as you know how to drive a crack, does it pretty easy. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I definitely tried to push the limits on the SCX6. I hope you guys saw that it's quite capable. Be sure to use the affiliate links down below. That's how you can say that you liked the video. Also, be sure to like and comment what your thoughts are on this truck. I'm a big fan, so thank you very much for watching. My name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. We will see you guys in the next one. Keep the rubber side down.